Hey, what's going on, everybody? Zephyr here. Uh, before today's video starts, I just want to say I apologize for not making a video recently. There have been some things going on that I'm not going to get into. Uh, but for today's video, I'm going to be hopefully making a couple episode series, probably just like two or three episodes, on um, a full guide on how to make scoreboards and everything that comes along with them. So this first one's just going to be little simple things. Um, just to get people who've never used it before started uh, and then the next ones will be a little bit more complicated and more in-depth with the other parts that do come along with scoreboards so yeah so in today's video we're just gonna simply show how to do these four things create a scoreboard different ways to display it how to add players remove players etc right. so let's go ahead and do that so what you want to do is you're gonna want to pull up your Whatever the chat here, make sure that you have ops so you can do all these commands. What you're going to want to do is want to type scoreboard, and then to create a scoreboard, you're going to, going to want to do objectives, space, and then add. And then these are all the scoreboards that I've already created, so don't worry about those. But you can name it whatever you want to do. I've noticed that some people, when they create a scoreboard, they'll do something like this. And they'll do they'll do a color of some sort, so we'll say that, and then we'll do ooh, test, and we'll do dummy. You do need the dummy at the end to make this. Um, yeah, so make sure that you have at least scoreboard objectives. Add the name of your scoreboard, and then dummy. So some people will do that, and then to display it, I'm going to show you real quick, scoreboard, objectives, then you're going to want to do set display, and then you have a couple of options here. So sidebar is where the scoreboard appears over here on the side of your screen. Uh, list is when you hit the pause button. It's going to show up in here, which I already have one display, but I'll show you guys that again. And then scoreboard, objectives, set display, and then below name is where it appears below your character's name so when you see a player walking around and you see their name above them when you're close to them it'll display their score of a certain scoreboard that you have set underneath them so you personally won't be able to see it because obviously it's going to be above your head and the game doesn't let you see your own name so that one's more so just to kind of show other players your scores that one's not really for you um, but yeah, so we're going to do sidebar, and then we're going to want to do this one up here. So what we can do is that, and then for me, since I'm on keyboard, I can just hit tab to autocomplete that. Otherwise, you'd have to type this all in again. And since I do have a resource pack, I do apologize that it's on the left side. Normally, it would be on the right side of the screen. Um, but another way to create a scoreboard is... You could do scoreboard, objectives, add, and then we'll just do, for this scoreboard, we'll just name it display, and we'll do dummy, and then afterwards is where you can actually name it to look like something else. So if we do, um, so let's just do light blue, and then we'll do hello world. I don't know if that's going to work. No. So if you have a space in between your words, you're going to want to do the brackets around it like this. And then I could do scoreboard, objective, set, display, sidebar. And then we're going to do, where is it? Display. We're going to do this one. So display. And then it will show you what you typed after it. So some people, when they do it, they'll just put the name of their scoreboard right here before dummy. Um, that is, in my opinion, less efficient if it's going to be a scoreboard that you're going to be displaying like, like that on the side or in the pause menu like this because you're going to have to end up typing this out every time versus you could just type out display instead. So this is just the, to refer to it back when you were using commands, like if you want to add money to a player or however you want to uh, use your scoreboard versus this is just how it's being displayed so you don't have to type out this entire longer text here each time. 
So yeah, so then to add a player to it, we'll do scoreboard players add. Oop, add. And then you can do the name of the player themselves. Just like me would be X Alpha Bloodshot. Or you could do all players. You could do all entities. You could be the closest player, the random player, or you could just do yourself, which is just the same as typing in your name. And then the star, um, we'll get into that in another video, so we won't have to worry about that right now. So I'll just do at s, which will be me, and then we'll just do display, and then, so this is the name of your scoreboard, remember that, and then after that is the amount that you want to add them to it. So I'll just do zero, so as you see now, I'm now on the scoreboard. So if you have more than one player, join, or if you have new players joining all the time, uh, the scoreboard is not going to add on, automatically add them to it. So what you're going to want to do is just do scoreboard players at ooh, sorry, add at all, and we'll do display zero, and then you just set it on always active, and then you can see it now added zero to the display scoreboard for me. So that way it always adds players to it. If you do anything else than zero. For example, we do that. It's just going to constantly be adding. Uh, that's not doesn't really help any for if you're trying to do something else with the scoreboard. This is just a way to add them to it. And then you could just scoreboard players remove. Then I can do at s dis oop, display my bad. And you could remove a certain amount. So it had like 130. So I just removed that. I could do it again and I just go negative, 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 whatever. Um, yeah. So then what we can also do is if you want to completely remove a certain player from the scoreboard, that's not as easy. So what we would want to do is I think I have a little setup over here. So this is to remove the sidebar if you have if you make a scoreboard that you don't want anymore. Um, and it's just sitting there. There's no real easy way, I guess, to do it. What you can do, or I guess, let me rephrase that. If you want to keep that scoreboard, but you don't want it on the screen anymore, or at least right at this time, you, the only way to do it is either replace it with another scoreboard or to remove it altogether. So I just made a little three block or three command block thing here to remove it, which I just press it. And just removes it. So what it does, this one, if you just want to get rid of the display for that scoreboard, you just do scoreboard, objectives, add, and then a name, which I just did random for this one, and then dummy, and then I just did scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, and then the name of that scoreboard, which was, which was random, and then I just did scoreboard, objectives, remove random. So it's basically just adding a a scoreboard that's not going to be used and then s displaying it and then just deleting it so that your other one isn't on the screen anymore but I can still go back and add it back to the side this is just so that I don't have to do these three commands all the time I can just press the button and it just goes away alright uh, yeah so that is how to do that. Uh, to remove players all together is a little bit of a different story. So if I do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, uh, display. To remove like a singular player altogether, you would have to do something like add a tag. So I could do tag, add, and then I could do no. So I could do that. So then what I could do is I could do a add at all who don't have the tag equal to no and then what this would do is remove the scoreboard or I could just delete the scoreboard altogether and then add it back um, but there there's a little bit more com uh, complex parts to that so I will show you guys that in another video this is just a simple how to create a scoreboard and add players to it. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, the next video should 
hopefully be out soon. But I've been Zephyr, and peace out.